Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Ali Reza Jafarzadeh, and I'm the Deputy Director of the Washington Office of the National Council of Resistance of Iran. And um, I want to welcome you all to our office here today. And uh, those of you who are um, following the uh, event on social media, we're at, uh, at NCRI US. Um, what I want to uh, uh, talk about today, as we um, announced earlier, uh, I want to discuss the, um, uh, the terrorist training camps of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, known as the IRGC, um, that how they are currently, as we speak, are engaged in and, uh, training terrorists and um, destabilizing uh, the region. We're going to go to the details of the information that we have obtained. Uh, first, I want to deal with the source of the information. The source is actually the People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran, which is a pivotal force within the coalition of the National Council of Resistance of Iran. And um, this is the same organization that revealed all the major nuclear sites of uh, Iran and the terror network of the Iran regime in Iraq and elsewhere. Now, their information came from their sources uh, within the Revolutionary Guards, the IRGC, and also within the Quds Force. Are, are marked. Uh, as you can see on this map, um, they are <coughs> there's a big concentration of them in the, uh, around the Tehran region. Uh, eight of those uh, uh, terrorist training camps are actually based in uh, uh, Tehran, in the vicinity of Tehran. Um, there are three of them down south in Abadan, Ahwaz, and Ghesh. And um, uh, one in Amal, there's another one, Loshan, uh, and then in Semnan and Mashhad. Um, so, uh, speaking of Tehran, you can see how this whole thing is spread um, uh, around um, the main uh, camp that um, we're revealing the location details for the first time is actually the Imam Ali garrison uh, up here in north uh, east of Tehran. I will go to the details of this camp. And there is also Imam Ali Academy, uh, Telekabin, Shahriar garrison, and then there is uh, uh, Badinde, Chamran, uh, Jalilabad garrison, and Pazuki garrison. Um, now, <clears throat> in terms of the um, uh, organization and command of the training directorate, uh, it's uh, one of the top uh, veterans of the horse force uh, is actually the commander. Um, and they report, uh, he reports directly to Qasem Soleimani. This is the picture of Qasem Soleimani, the notorious Qasem Soleimani, who has been heading the horse force uh, for long. And uh, the commander until 2015 was uh, Brigadier General Rahimi. And before that, uh, RGC Brigadier General Khosrow Uruj held that position. The picture you see here is actually Khosrow Uruj. Um, now, he is a notorious person. Uh, look at the, um, uh, his track record. Um, he was the commander of the IRGC forces in Lebanon before, um, had close relationship with the Lebanese Hezbollah, uh, and he participated in the 33-day war in Lebanon, and close friend of uh, Emad Mournier. Everyone knows about him, top uh, commander of uh, Hezbollah and, and uh, uh, Islamic Jihad. Now, what does this all um, uh, mean? Um, just take a look at the chart, the command uh, structure of the uh, IRGC that uh, we've put up here um, on the screen. Um, you see the, um, uh, this is the commander uh, in chief of the IRGC, um, Jafari, Mamad Ali Jafari. And then you have the different units, you have the five different uh, branches of the IRGC here, uh, including the Quds Force, the Navy, Air, Aerospace, Air Force, uh, Ground Forces, and the Paramilitary uh, Basij Forces. And then you have a whole host of other directorates. You have the Counterintelligence Directorate, uh, which is basically responsible um, for watching the government. Um, and then you have the Supreme Leader Representative Mullah uh, Ali Saidi, who's been there forever. He basically oversees all of the activities. 
just to make sure that the Supreme Leader has his uh, eyes on the whole operation.